All right, so what I have here is a, a 4.5 meter expandable carbon fiber pole that I modified for this loop and then it fits slides right back in. But now the uh, eight meter um, carbon fiber expandable pole is in and I just did the same thing on here. Um, I don't have very many videos, but I can put a link in here, but you can just see where the, in some of the videos I did previous on this modification, it's super simple. It's just paracord, hot glue and um, heat shrink. Um, the other thing I like to use is um, I have this uh, carbon fiber arrow and I've just modified it had the tip on it but then I added the um, this other end on here for where you hook the, the arrow into and I put it on this end so I can hammer it into the ground and now I have another one that's a little bit longer that I'm going to use with this 8 meter um, carbon fiber pole um, I just did the same thing out of the tip and then I just put a, a brass fitting on the back here slide it in so I can hit on this end without damaging the carbon fiber. So what I'm gonna do is uh, set these up and just show you what the difference is in um, the 4.5. Um, but I took a section out, so it's probably a little bit less than that. It's probably about maybe 13 and a half meters, and this is probably seven and a half meters uh, now. So yeah, just let me get these set up and then uh, um, I'll show you the difference and then I'll uh, um, um, set up the end, head, end fed half wave I'm just getting ready. I'm gonna take some time off um, in the next month into December and I'm gonna do a lot of activations between soda and poda. So I'm just trying to prepare for that. Um, haven't had a chance to go out because there's just stuff going on with uh, um, you know full-time jobs. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so I just uh, set it up real quick. So I just have my uh, NFED halfway set up the, uh, for the coax cable here. And then I just have it going up this way and you can see the difference here. Um, in these uh, four and a half compared to eight meter uh, pole. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much it's gonna make a difference on the summit, but you can definitely tell that there's a huge difference in that. Um, I don't know, I might have to go a little bit deeper on that. It's just a, I might have to double up a, an arrow, make a, a two shafts to make it a little bit more sturdy, but it's, it's holding up there. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a lot higher. Um, in terms of getting up uh, off the ground. So let's uh, see what we can uh, do here in terms of uh, getting some contacts on this. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I was able to get one of these uh, MTR VB uh, versions too, uh, the Mountain Topper. Um, I actually picked it up uh, at a swap meet. Um, it's the NAQCC swap meet newsletter that goes out. And I actually acquired this from uh, Tony, uh, Whiskey 8, uh, Charlie Delta Charlie. Um, I mean, this thing's pristine. It's like brand new. He said he used it a few times, so I'm pretty happy that I got this. Um, it'd be great for when I uh, do some of these soda summits. Um, but yeah, let's uh, see what we have here. Um, oh, I also have, I'll move this just a tad. I picked up a new, Key from Larry N Zero SA. I was on his list, so I picked up one of these, uh, one of his uh, soda soda poda paddles. Um, plug it in here. All right, let's see what we can do for uh, picking up some soda station or poda stations here. But let me see. That was a, that was my notification for soda. So let's see what we have here. So that's 762. So let's see if I can pick them up. And there's a way to key in the frequency. I just haven't figured it out yet. Um, so I'll just go up to this frequency here. I definitely have to read the instructions on that because the key ended him to be a lot faster than just holding this in.
actually gonna log this because I don't have a So I actually have this Casio watch that um, is nice because it has uh, UTC time on it. So I can just look at my watch. So so does the, the mountain topper as well, which is nice. Supposed to be a dip dip. <laughs> All right, got him. That was a K6 STR. He's on Whiskey 6 uh, CT, which is in Central. That was two points. So, yeah, this is great. Give me a 569. Let's see if we can uh, let's switch over to 20 meters. So it's cool when you switch over to the bands, it actually gives you the number uh, two for 20. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, definitely I'm uh, gonna have to get the instructions out because it'd be a lot easier to change the uh, frequency with the, the keyer. Um, I have the CW Morse uh, key that's made um, by the design from Larry, um, but this is a little bit smaller and one thing I noticed is it doesn't have that protruding screw out here. Um, and if you grab the key like this, because I'm holding onto it like this, I'd always bump it and it'd always send extra dits or daws uh, by accident. But this uh, key actually doesn't have that, so I haven't had that issue at all. Like even I'm like grabbing it like that, it doesn't do anything. So it's really cool. This is a, um, I'm glad I got on the, uh, the list with Larry and I was able to pick up one of these keys because this is a really cool key. Uh, it's really smooth too. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can find. Let's see what's uh. Let me try this uh 65 and then. Um, I'm looking for another case for this. Um, I was looking at a Kafaru uh, bag that I have some other bags that they're, they're really lightweight and thin, but I don't want to use that with this. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put this inside of. Uh, I have another case, uh, the Evergreen case, a, a smaller one for my uh, SW3B. But um, I don't know. I'm trying to see if I can come up with something different. Maybe something that's a little bit uh, heavier in terms of like a, a small kind of like bag to carry this in. If you guys have any suggestions, just leave it in the comments. But um, let's see. I don't think I'm going to get this guy in 65. Yeah, I didn't hear anything, but let me see real quick. Just kind of rambling on. I went right through the frequency. 
Um, this this uh, mountain topper is actually really nice, and the receive on this is is really clear. Um, I I'd have to re I have to read in the manual. I don't know what the filtering is on this, but it'd be it'd be nice to have like an option for some of the filtering. But um, so far, I haven't had any issues. I this is just a this is an awesome radio. This thing literally weighs like six ounces. Um, so the combination of this, the bio in a battery, and this is going to be super lightweight. And I just have the this foam case for the the key. Um, it's just an, a, a great addition. But let me see if I can find some POTA stations here really quick. It seems like the I mean the antenna is working really well, and it's not even you know yeah I'm, it's just it's doing well. I mean I'm pretty happy with the, what I've done with those fiber uh, carbon fiber poles. Um, that's really cheap option. But let me see here. Let's go. Let me go to Poda app and see what we have here. I need like three states and um let me sort by a frequency let me just go to i'll go to 20 because um 74 that's ft8 let me go uh, cw here okay let me go by frequency because then uh sort by frequency Okay, Rhode Island is on too long ago, 12 seconds ago, 26. Let's... Let me start at the top because I'm already up in these frequencies. So let's see here. Uh, 69. Uh, that was 20 minutes ago. 67.5. Oh, it's Jim. I don't know. Yep, that's him. That's somebody calling from Texas. Well, I'll just listen here, but I don't need to keep you guys on here, but I just want to show you that this is a new addition. Um, I know these things are on uh, back order. They're not back order. They're just always never in stock. Um, they're really hard to get. Um, I just didn't, I ended up getting a uh, 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 used one, but it literally looks brand new. Um, and he also, uh, Tony... Um, did something that was really cool. He, um, I can't, let me make sure. He gave me a two power cords. I was going to make one anyways, but there's a power cord for a nine volt battery. And then, um, 
and then he has this other one that I have hooked up with the Anderson uh, uh, and power poles on here and I, I think there's diodes in here so basically the batteries being um, you're not getting the full 13 point some you know 13 volts out of the sorry the 12 volts out of the um, bio in a battery um, so it's reducing the voltage to the LNR which is is uh, nice um, I have one of the um, talent cell batteries um, but for some reason they keep making these all these radios have different connectors for the power and that bio in, uh, sorry the talent cell one doesn't have the right uh, millimeter for the attachment so but I have this and so I'm just going to use this setup right here for now so all right all right thanks for watching um um yeah look for me on the air um i'm going to be doing a lot of activations in november and december um i just have a lot of projects right now but yeah so far i'm happy with this um it seems to be holding there's not a lot of strain on it i, I mean you can tell that it's bent over from that but there's a lot of you know that uh carbon fiber uh arrow that i'm using that i modified is is holding this up um if i could get it straighter come up with something a little bit different than this you know maybe like an aluminum shaft with a point on it but yeah but so far i think it's cool all right so i appreciate everybody uh watching these uh videos and um you know um i'm gonna try to mix these up now i'm trying to work on the dots as well so uh yep Again, thanks for watching and um, appreciate it. And till next time.